The government of United Kingdom has sanctioned Uganda's former IGP, Edward Kale Kaihura, who was in charge from 2005 to 2018. United Kingdom says Kaihura, while he was in charge of Uganda police, he oversaw multiple units responsible for human rights violations and other inhuman treatment and punishment. Kaihura has been stopped from entering United Kingdom and secondly, He's not allowed to channel money through the United Kingdom banks. And thirdly, he's not allowed to profit from their economy. Well, it should be remembered that on 13th September 2019, General Kale Kaihura was sanctioned by the US government for reportedly engaging in corruption and human rights abuses. Kale Kaihura joins a long list of government officials that have been sanctioned like General Abel Kandiho and many others. Now, the other day, I told you that Honorable Minister Pasis Namuganza is trending so big time in Parliament. And uh, yesterday, she was in an interview and she said she intends to move a motion against the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk and Moses Magogo, because the Speaker procured a fraudulent marriage and uh, they also attacked her husband, forcing him to sign papers of their marriage. Let's listen in to Honorable Pasis Namuganza for more details on this matter. I, I intend to move that motion and I will seek permission by the speaker uh, in the near future because these issues, the way they have been happening, of course, the right honorable speaker Mong has a personal interest in this. She procured a fraudulent marriage uh, with the so-called husband. You know, a husband is defined legally. And they went, attacked my husband, because he's a civil servant, and they forced him to sign papers of their marriage. They were not there. They sent their security team, and they, they made him sign under duress. I think I'll, you understand when I say that. And after all that happened, he reported to security and rescinded the marriage. So she sent several people intimidating him, doing what that he must sign and re, and re, re uh, tracked the papers, the rescinding he had cancelled her certificate of marriage. Because you see, the law gives her, uh, I think, about 28 hours when you have signed such papers under Julius, a matter which we have brought to the attention of His Excellency the President, and he has instructed the CID uh, headquarters to investigate. My husband has already made the um, statement, but she has been sending rascals to my husband and intimidating him in saying how I'm going to punish your wife. And we have proof. The parliamentary leadership wants to create fear and intimidation among the members of parliament so that they don't say anything. They, they, you know, they are so timid that they don't even have to exercise their rights. They are working under that fear, something which is very unfortunate. So for me, if I forge the presidential directive, whatever they are saying in Nagoland, here I am. The president is also alive. He's not dead. He's alive. He's just here. I have not seen them going with that forged document to the president and say, see, your minister is here, forged this. Because the forgery is criminal. And why am I bringing the motion of a mob? It's criminal. She never appeared to take an oath. She never followed the marriage steps. She sent certificates. Where the metro is supposed to sign, the, the security guard the lady signed. The best man, same thing. We cannot have such leadership. Audio jungle.